It's true, paintbrushes aren't just for painting anymore. Hey besties, this is Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. If you wanna craft your best life with me, then let's get started right now. For this Dollar Tree paintbrush hack, I'm gonna use this two inch paintbrush from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use some twine that I got at Walmart, a half bead that I got from Amazon, plaster colored Waverly chalk paint and agave colored chalk paint. I'm gonna take my sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree, sand off the handle of the brush and start painting with the agave paint. And I'll just be very careful around those edges where it meets the metal. And you could tape that off if you want. I chose not to, I felt like I could manage it. And I did leave a little area blank. We're gonna create a cute little paintbrush gnome. So I'm gonna dry this off so that I can go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm gonna take the plaster colored paint and I'm gonna do everything from the agave down towards the bristles that I did not paint in the agave. And that's why I left that little part that was blank because I wanted to paint it with the plaster. And then I'm gonna also do the paintbrush bristles on both sides and just kind of really make sure that gets very well covered and the back too. Now I'm gonna use some hot glue and I'm gonna put that half bead in the middle of that area where the plaster has met the agave. And I'm gonna take the twine and I'm gonna put it all the way around the border between the two paint colors and then over the little nose for the gnome. Now I'm gonna cut it off and just put the end on there with some more hot glue and just make sure that's connected very well. I'm going to take some more of that twine. Actually, this is probably considered rope at this size, but either way. And I'm going to make a quick little hanger through the hole of the paintbrush. I'm going to do the lark's head knot kind of a hanger and then just put a knot on it. Technically, we don't need a hanger because there is a hole in the paintbrush, but I like the way it looks. And it kind of makes it look like that's the gnome's hat and there's like a little tassel on it. Now I've got these eyeglass pouches. I found these by the checkout counter at Dollar Tree and I just like the flowers on them. So I'm gonna cut one of them off and then you know repair it since I kind of broke it apart. And I'm gonna add that to the lower part of the gnome's hat. And I'm gonna add some greenery. And really that's all there is to this one. It's very quick, easy to make. Just waiting for the paint dry, that's the hardest part. And I love the way it turned out. It'll be perfect for spring. Let me know what you think. For this Dollar Tree paintbrush hack, we are going to use two, or excuse me, three of the one inch brushes. I've got this kind of framed uh, peach that I got on clearance for like $5 and change at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna use this piece. So I removed that metal pair. And I'm gonna sand down the inside where there's some rough edges and where it says pairs. I'm gonna trim three of these paintbrushes. I didn't want them to be quite as long because they needed to fit inside this little like shadow box. I've got this beautiful contact paper. I think I got it at the Target dollar spot last year. I'm gonna cut a piece that's close enough to start fitting it in, and then I will push it on the inside so I can get a line and know where to cut. So you see how I'm pushing that in? It's kind of like folding it over. I'll take that piece out and cut it, and I'll do the same thing with the other side so that I can you know, sort of measure this. It's hard to measure these and get them exactly right. And I'll be honest, I'm sometimes I'm a little lazy about measuring. Is anyone else like that where you just want to do it and you don't, you know, you figure I'll, I'll get it right. Well, of course, it's never right when you do that, right? And here we are. It's not going to be perfect, but I am going to trim off the excess with a utility blade and that helps make it look very nice. There we go. Now it's ready to move on to the next step. I'm gonna use my brayer just to make sure it's laying flat. And I'm gonna take this walnut furniture marker and go around the edges. It was a little bit scratched up and I wasn't trying to distress this one. So I thought it would be better to fill in those scratches. And that worked perfectly. I mean, that's what those things are actually for, right? Now I'm gonna take the fern colored Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna first sand down the handles cause I need to make sure that the paint will stick. And then I'm gonna paint all three of those handles in that fern color. 
And then I'm gonna use some Mod Podge and cover that so it doesn't, you know, kind of chip off. I'm gonna glue with the hot glue gun all three of these brushes. They're gonna basically be like stems for little flowers. And this is gonna be sort of like a flower bouquet. So I'm just putting the three of them in there. And then I'm gonna find a bunch of flowers in my stash and I'm gonna cut off a small, the smallest sizes that I happen to have on hand. So this one I'm gonna use these kind of like off green pale green ones and then i'll glue all of these in and just try to make it look very full like a bunch of flowers now i've got these beautiful violet and scarlet colored ones or, or actually maybe like magenta dark pink and i'm going to cut a bunch of these and i'm going to glue these on to the middle one you could use any flowers you want. They could be paper, they could be, you know, kind of plastic like these. Honestly, whatever you like. And then I've got these pretty blue ones. They're a little bit bigger, but I was running out of small flowers. So I'm just gonna put them in there and I mix them up a little bit and I'm gonna add these little berries. They're like kind of off-white as centers for them just to make them look like they belong together. Now, what would something like this be without any greenery? So I'm gonna add this eucalyptus that I get on Amazon to the bottom and just kind of fill it in and cover up the little holes. And honestly, there's not much more to this one. It's so pretty and fresh. And you could, like I said, you could do whatever kind of flowers. The smaller the flowers, I think the better. But like I said, this is what I had on hand and I just wasn't ready to go run out and buy some more flowers. I like to use up my stash. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one. It's a little different, but I actually really, really like it. Another thing you can do with paintbrushes. For this Dollar Tree paintbrush hack, I'm going to use the two inch paintbrush. I've got these two googly eyes, ballet slipper, plaster, and fern chalk paint. And this time I am going to use the tape because we're going to be doing some painting below that rim by the metal piece, and I didn't trust myself on that. So we're gonna start with the fern. Well, I am gonna paint the metal with the fern. I didn't really need that part so much to be taped, but I did. Now I'm gonna sand down the plastic part of the handle so the paint will stick. Now we're gonna take that tape again, and I'm gonna be doing some different colors on here. We're gonna start with the ballet slipper. I'm gonna do that in the top portion. And all of these are gonna get two coats and they'll dry between each coat. And I love peeling off that tape, don't you? Then the last color we're gonna do is the plaster and I did not wanna tape over the paint, so I just was very careful and I used a paintbrush that had a nice straight edge on it. And we'll do the whole rest of the plastic part of the handle with the plaster color. There it is. Now we're gonna glue on the little googly eyes the idea for this is that this could be like a puppet for a puppet show. So if you've got kids or grandkids, what a fun craft to do together. You just paint on a little mouth. I'm using the fern color. You can use any color you want. And then you can play a little game and have a puppet show. How fun is that to have the kids use their imagination? You could make up stories. They could be little characters. You know, whatever they want to do. I just think this is so easy and so fun. And if you wanted to make sure they could do this, you would just tape every section with painter's tape. Now I'm getting a little fussy with the mouth because this is the kind of thing that I struggle with painting is really detailed things. I always end up adding too much, like you see those little smudges. So then I try to fix it. So he ended up with a little bit of a thicker mouth than I originally planned. But you know what? I didn't have any paint markers. If you do, that would be the best. I covered it in Mod Podge and that's it. I hope you like this one. It was so fun and easy to do. Paintbrush hack. I'm going to use the larger of the three brushes that come in the set. This one can be used with the kids and grandkids too. It's going to be so cute. I've got these googly eyes and a couple of bolts. I end up swapping those out for shorter, wider ones that I think are going to look better. And then I've got this bright green and the chalkboard black paint, and I'm going to use that as well. First thing is I'm going to paint from the metal all the way down the handle with that green. And it does take about two and a half coats on the metal and then maybe just two coats on the black part. Super easy though. Let that dry. 
And then I'm gonna take the black paint and I'm gonna paint the bristles because they have black in them, but then there's kind of that yellow at the top. And I'm gonna take that chalkboard paint and I'm just gonna start brushing and I just kind of push it in between the bristles and around the top. It's very easy. It doesn't take tons of paint to do this. I took a very light marker and I kind of drew for myself some lines to make the stitches and his little forehead line and then his mouth. This is a little Frankenstein if you haven't figured it out. And now I'm going to take a very fine point art brush and that black paint and I'm just going to go over the lines that I drew. I didn't do pencil because I didn't think I'd be able to see it very well. So I just took, like I said, a very fine point and light marker just to draw them. And now I'm going to paint over them all. It makes it so much easier if you have something to work with. I find that if I paint first without using anything, I I just mess it up really bad. So if you're like me, take the time and draw it out first. Now I've got the googly eyes and I'm just gonna hot glue them right on where you would see the eyes normally. And then I'm going to take these bolts, like I said, I swapped those out and I'm just going to hot glue them to the sides because you know Frankenstein has those bolts on the side of his head. I saw this on Pinterest and I just had to make it. It is so adorable and this is incredibly quick and easy. Honestly, the thing that took the longest was waiting for the paint to dry. Otherwise, this would basically be a five minute craft. So if you have a heat tool to dry it faster, then it could be a very fast craft. And I think it turned out adorable. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.